In 2016, General of the People's Liberation Army Air Force PLAF, Ma Xiaoxin announced that China was developing a new type of long-range bomber on the Air Force's open day. In 2018, a Chinese military spokesperson confirmed that the development was making substantial progress. The H-20 is envisioned as a flying wing with a minimum range of 8,500 kilometers and a payload capacity of at least 10 tons. It will enable China to reliably threaten U.S. targets inside and beyond the second island chain, to include major U.S. military bases on Guam and Hawaii. Its payload is projected to be at least 10 tons of conventional or nuclear weapons. China's A-20 stealth bomber is expected to be airborne in Asian skies next year and mass-produced by 2025. In October 2018, Chinese media announced that the People's Liberation Army Air Force PLAF would unveil its new H-20 stealth bomber during a parade celebrating its anniversary, 70 Air Force in 2019. The H-20 will likely be capable of carrying nuclear weapons. This is because the H-6 bomber is no longer configured for nuclear attack. China's development of stealth aircraft technology in the J-20 and J-31 stealth fighters is a prerequisite for the H-20 project. The aim is to enhance the ability to build large, long-range aircraft with modern computer design and manufacturing techniques, precision technologies for the mass production of stealth aircraft exteriors. According to Rick Joe at The Diplomat, the H-20, which was designed in the early 2010s, is characterized by four WS-10, a non-afterburning Taihang turbofans embedded in the upper wing surface with S-shaped intake ports. The new strategic bomber has an estimated maximum combat radius of 8,000 km, with a payload of between 10 and 23 tons, payload capacity of H-6 and B-2. This is because the H-20 is reportedly designed to engage targets outside Ring-2, covering U.S. bases in Japan, Guam, Philippines, from Chinese ground bases. The third island chain extends to Hawaii and the Australian coast. The H-20 is expected to fulfill the stealth bomber role which has been missing in China's strike options. Chinese efforts to create stealth bombers can be traced back to the early 2000s after officials gained access to an American F-117 Nighthawk that was shot down over Yugoslavia. In 2014, China unveiled its development efforts and stated that it was working on an aircraft that could carry 10 tons of ordnance, capable of flying 4,790 miles. 8,000 kilometers, without the need for mid-air refueling. The H-20 has stealth air intakes on both sides and is covered in dark gray radar-absorbing material. Warzone notes that the H-20 may have a combat radius of 4,000 to 5,000 miles and can carry a variety of precision-guided weapons such as smart bombs, land-attack cruise missiles, and anti-ship missiles. The H-20 will have a maximum takeoff weight of 200 tons, a payload of 45 tons and fly at high subsonic speeds. United States, China and developing stealth bomber aircraft. The two are the H-20 from China and the B-21 from the US, both of which are claimed to be the best bombers. The two planes have the same shape and are equipped with various advanced technologies, including nuclear weapons. But what is the difference between the two planes? Here are the details. The B-21 stealth bomber is being prepared for the U.S. Air Force by Northrop Grumman. But this high-tech new bomber is not alone. Photos have emerged depicting the Chinese H-20 stealth bomber, which is expected to take flight soon. Northrop Grumman is building the first B-21 in Palmdale, California, USA. The company in 2015 won a contract to develop and build more than 100 B-21s. The B-21 is targeted to make its first flight in late 2021 or early 2022. Things like big components coming together, integration, ground testing, all the stuff leading up to the first flight has to be done, Walden said. There's a lot that has to happen between now and the next few years. The U.S. Air Force has still not decided how many B-21s to buy. The bomber is estimated to be worth U.S. dollars 600 million, equivalent to ARC. 8.5 trillion. We are exploring a force structure between the B-1s, B-2s, and B-52s, said Air Force Deputy Chief of Staff General Stephen Wilson.
The B-21 bomber will also carry the free-fall B-61 nuclear gravity bombs, specifically the new B-6112 bomb with dial-a yield capability. The combination of these two weapons allows the B-21 to use stealthy cruise missiles to clear a path through enemy air defense networks before dropping them on primary and secondary targets. For conventional missions, the B-21 will carry JSSM, air conventional cruise missiles and 900 kg GBU-31 Joint Directed Attack Munition Satellite Guided Bombs. The B-21 can deploy this weapon in the same way as its nuclear weapons, blasting through enemy defenses before taking down the JDAM. The B-21 can also be used as a missile truck, launching up to 16 JSSM ears at remote enemy targets or through less sophisticated enemy defenses. The B-21 can also carry the massive penetrator bomb, the largest conventional armament which weighs 1.3 tons. So far, the B-2 is the only bomber capable of lifting a giant bomb.